My friends, we have some exciting news. We are going to be doing the most ambitious project Audio Hawks has ever done in the 20 plus year history. And we've got some backup. We've got some muscle with us to help us out. Hey folks, I'm Gene Della Sala with Audioholics, and we have... I'm Don Dunn with HD 2020. Don, it's time we announced a big project. A lot of hard work already. A lot of hard work. We've been doing a lot of stuff over the last few months, lots of planning, and I want to give you guys something that's never been done before. I want to build a house, the Audioholics Smart House, and I'm going to document every little facet of it on YouTube. We're talking about the initial construction, the planning, the wiring, the smart home integration, the video distribution, the acoustics, everything from soup to nuts we are going to document. I'm going to turn this over to Don because he's the pro installer. He's putting this project into directions I never would have thought of in the past, and I'm glad to have him on board with us helping us out. Hi guys, um, this is pretty exciting stuff. Um, I'm Don with HD 2020. I've been an integrator professionally for about 27 years, um, doing very high-end award-winning home theaters, integrated homes, integrated commercial projects of all kind. And we have this unique opportunity. I've been working with Gene for quite a long time because I'm an audiophile. I mean, at, at, at the end of the day, that's why I got into this business. But there's some exciting technologies that are available now that a lot of consumers might not know about that we do in our professional integration world. Um, things as home automation, um, integrated lighting control, uh, HVAC control, um, distributed high resolution audio, and the list goes on. And we're trying to incorporate all that along with an infrastructure of wiring into this new home that Gene's building for Audioholics that will allow Gene to test and, uh, and demo equipment down the road. It's going to be pretty awesome. We're going to document it from design phase. We're going to share the documentation, share the design work that I've worked on. Um, we're going to put everything together so that you, the consumer, when you go to make a decision, because at the end of the day, we're here for you, that you can make an educated decision on whether you want to do something yourself or you want to hire a professional integration company or an integrator like myself. Um, and I think it'll be a, a very eye-opening experience for everyone involved. We're going to get down to the nitty gritty. So the one thing that gives us a unique perspective here is the fact that the model house for the builder here is actually here. So I'm gonna show you guys what this house normally looks like versus what we're gonna be doing when it becomes audioholicized. Now that's Audio, a new term, audioholicized. Audio 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 so, so I think we should just do a quick walk around, you know, coming into the entry of the house, we're gonna have some landscape speakers. I wonder if they can hear the construction sounds and this is actually a neighborhood being built this is a construction area yeah just to just to backtrack a minute this is the um the united states first connected city with a man-made lagoon seven and a half acre lagoon i'm going to be swimming in this thing all the now time be a creature yes it's going to be like cocoon man i'm going to be rejuvenated <laughs> I, I, I don't know about the hair so anyways let me give you guys a little walk around uh, at the entry of the house we're going to have some landscape lighting and, and landscape speakers as well mm -hmm. And when you walk in is where the uh, main entry is gonna be where the family room is and the kitchen. The family room system is gonna be really awesome because we're actually, get, my wife told me, she goes, I don't want in-wall speakers in there. I wanna see beautiful speakers. I wanna see box speakers. She marry her twice. Marry her twice. I did actually marry her twice, but that's another story. <laughs> so we're gonna have Paradigm uh, speakers in there. We're gonna have JL Audio subwoofers. We're gonna have Paradigm in-ceiling speakers all around, so we're doing Atmos 5.2.4. And then Don's crazy. Don's like, you need to put in-wall speakers and in-wall subwoofers throughout the house. So we're gonna have uh, in-wall speakers and subwoofers in the kitchen. We're gonna have in-wall speakers in the bathroom of in the ceiling. master. In-ceiling, I'm in -ceiling. sorry, in-ceiling, yeah. So the entire house is going to be covered with audio. We're going to be talking about more of that, who's involved with that project. But then the really neat thing is I'm converting. It's a, it's a two-car garage on one side of the house and a one-car garage on the other side. I figured out, I pulled a Kobayashi Maru. I turned a, a, a basically a production builder into a semi-custom builder, and I convinced them to change their floor pan. So we're taking the one-car garage and the extra room, the family room or the bonus room, and we're converting that into a theater room. Uh, 20 by 25. 20 by 25. Inside dimensions on it. 
And we're working with a company locally called Commercial Acoustics, and we're going to encase the entire room into an MLV shell to basically acoustically isolate it from the rest of the house. So you're going to see a whole video just on noise isolation. We're going to be doing as many steps as we can, given the limits of the builder, what they will allow us to do, to try to isolate the sound from that room from the rest of the house. Um, on the theater, we're kind of going into a different direction. Um, I do tons of theaters. I have for many years. I've done award-winning theaters, um, you know, been in national magazines. And the trend over dampen rooms is something that we run into and you see quite a bit. It makes it look like a theater. It's, it's kind of a dated look. So we're, we're going to go with kind of a, a sound room with hardwood floors, something a little more live. Then we're going to work our way back and we're going to use diffusers, bass traps, and key location acoustic treatments. And we're going to tune this room. And it's going to be exciting because so many people when they're designing a theater room or so many websites, they just go on and they, they take the mirror and they go to the first reflection and they put an acoustic treatment and then they put some treatments for a slap echo and think that they have it. But there's so much more energy that's being dampened in the room that can be taken advantage of. And that's something that we're gonna try to do. Now the system that's going in here is like a Lamborghini on steroids. I mean, it's extremely powerful. So we're really gonna have to fine tune this room um, to contain the sound from leaking out, but also keep it from overpowering the room. And it's gonna be exciting. And we're, we're really glad to have you guys kind of with us on this journey because everything we do even at a high end is gonna be a trickle down technology or something will trickle down from this, not your leg, but something will trickle down from this that you can apply to your own home theater, your own family room. And that's what's exciting. We're going to do a master bedroom surround system yeah. that's all flush um, and, and we're through equalization and tuning. We're going to show you how you get great sound that way. We're going to do a partial flush uh, tower speaker system in the family room like Gene was just talking about. Then a no holds barred, balls out, knock your head off theater um, that's going to go in. It's going to be like a ride at Disney World. Um, trademark, no. <laughs> but here you go. So just to tell you a little bit about the theater room, because I'm really excited about this, and I'll, I'll put up a plan that Don drew up. It's just an initial sketch. We're going to be working on that and refining it as we go along. So we're going to have really, as far as I know, the industry's first fully digitally interfaced um, immersive surround system. Storm Audio is going to be providing the electronics, the processor, and the amplification, and they have digital outputs on it. And we're going to go digitally into the new RBH amplifier, which is all Class D, and we're going to have a fully active system for the, for the front of the room. The LCRs at the front of the room are going to be fully active. Then the rest of these speakers are going to be fully Class D amplified. Because remember I told you guys, Class D is the future. And I found a couple of different amp companies that make truly state-of-the-art Class D. So we're going to have probably like the five kilowatts of power in this room. Well, from, the, from the Class D standpoint, we're adding how many dedicated, what, two or three dedicated 20 amp circuits to the theater room alone. Because so that Class D has that kind of unlimited power to pull from. And, and dedicated power outlets for the amplifiers. I mean, literally on this home, we are starting from the ground up and trying to do everything um, as, as best we can to ensure the end product is, is, is amazing. So yeah, we're, we're really putting everything we can into this room. Um, the other thing we forgot to mention is upstairs is where I'm doing my office slash music room. And we're gonna have a really kick-ass two-channel system the in hookah? there. The hookah? Oh, I forgot about the hookah. Yeah, the oh, we gotta add that. So upstairs, we're going to have a really awesome two-channel music room for vinyl. The entire house, I don't think we mentioned this, the entire house is going to be streaming with high-resolution Tidal and Kobuz, mm -hmm. and we're using Q uh, Control 4, basically, to do all the home automation. So we have a lot of companies behind us. We've got, um, there's a video distribution company we're working with now. What, do you want to talk a oh, little bit about that? It's uh, AV Pro Edge. Um, my friend Jason, who is an ISF certified and trainer, in a video super freak works with AV Pro Edge. That's a product that we use in almost all of our distributed video systems. And it's going to show you the consumer basically how you can take full 4K high resolution um, video sources and then distribute them through multiple sort of uh, uh, displays in your home, whether it be a projector, television. We're sparing no, no expense on this. Everything in this house is going to be state of the art. Just to go back to what Gene said about the audio, that's something kind of near and dear to my heart for years integrators and I were guilty of it. We just would put speakers up and just 30 watt a channel distribution amplifiers and give people background sound because at the end of the day, MP3 and compressed music just didn't sound that good. And it was just background music. But now Tidal and Cobuzz have come around and, and, and many others uh, soon to come 
and they're streaming CD or C better than CD quality audio. So therefore now all the equipment like Triad, which was acquired from Control4, one of my favorite companies on the planet, both Control4 and Triad. Triad actually has um, multi-room amplifiers that will stream high resolution audio. Very, very good amplifiers and a very small chassis using ICE technology. Um, also the Control4 processors also act as a source. They will stream high resolution audio through. And we've got a couple other products that we're gonna mention here soon, as soon as we finalize the deal with them that are gonna kind of be game changers and expand on the streaming services and, and things that are out there. So um, the automation portion, we're not only gonna show you how it makes it easy to use and how to easy to use and sound good, but how automation truly enhances your life. Things that are plausible that will, if you travel, if you're worried about your children, security wise, um, it, it truly is gonna be a connected, integrated home. Awesome. Well guys, I think we're gonna wrap this up because we're gonna have many videos to come Oh, no, he's doing his wrapping. So yeah. we're going to be covering this thing, like I said, from soup to nuts. Let us know down below what you want us, what you want to see. You know, whether you want to see certain areas that we're covering in terms of how we're running the cabling or how we're going to be planning the systems, you know, how, we, how we're figuring out how we're much subwoofers. documentation and, and whatnot as well. So. Everything's going to be documented. You've never seen anything like this. Biggest. And just so you know, HD 2020 is available to help you with your theater setup. There you go. Yes, a shameless plug. So we are literally going to be doing everything from soup to nuts. It's never been done before. I'm super excited about this. I'm invigorated. We're redefining Audioholics. We're expanding. Mad. One company stands alone. Audioholics with HD 2020. HD 2020. So guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. Don't forget our, about our Patreon at patreon.com slash audioholics. We put unique content there. We'll put some extra tips there. You can interact directly with us. There's a lot of advantages to becoming a patron. And then don't forget to subscribe and put that bell notification so you can get notices when these videos drop. And until next time, my friends, keep listening. Keep listening. Sometimes I feel like I don't have a partner. Sometimes I feel like my only friend. That's totally going into the video. You know that, right? <laughs> you ready? I'm ready. Okay. Suck in your gut. Suck in your gut. Ready? We have. Well, no, that's not good. Okay. Introduce yourself. No, I'm going to do that after the intro.